All right, so welcome to the video, guys. We're going to talk about a really cool topic today, and that's six months to 12 months of hard work can completely change your life for the good. All right, so, you know, th this is something that you heard before, isn't it? Do these things and you can get ha get ahead of everybody in life. And they typically give you a list, right? Work out, eat healthy, build an internal standard of yourself, build integrity, build morals and values, build healthy relationships, avoid any kind of cheap dopamine, and yes, that includes adult content, especially for men. And uh, that's just it. That is my list. But you know what I haven't done? What I haven't done is I haven't followed it consistently for a long period of time. And I think that's really where the key is and I think that's really where the change occurs. So I have noticed changes in my life quite dramatically for the good doing these things, guys. But imagine how much more so you would have positive results if you did this stuff more consistently. So I've been thinking to myself, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do these things consistently and see how this works. And I encourage you guys to think like that too, because the only way to really know if something works is obviously, you know, you do your research and you see if people have anecdotal experience of things working, therefore you can kind of decide who you want to trust. But also as long as it makes common sense, why not just give things a try and see for yourself if this does in fact work. So just like a snowball at the start of the hill, you know, it's small. We've all, we all know this analogy, but as it picks up over time, guys, by the time it reaches the end of the, the hill, the bottom of the hill, it's a massive snowball and it's not to be messed with. It's something that cannot be stopped and whatever it's in its path, it's going to destroy. And just the same way, these habits, guys, they compound over time. And you'd be surprised. Six months of hard work can completely change your life but it's also in different increments. It depends where you're starting at because the first six months could be the basis, the foundation of changing who you are to then create opportunities for the next six months. And we're just using six months as an arbitrary number because it could be your breakthrough. It could happen at five months. It could happen at seven months. It could happen after years of work, but six months will separate you for sure and provide opportunities to then have the next six months potentially you could be looking around guys in your life and you could be in a completely different situation that you're currently in. If not physically and where you're living and, and what you possess, what you own, but just see like your mental state could be so much improved. Your personality, who you are could be so much improved for a fact. Your habits could be so much better. Your physical body could look so much better. So a lot can change guys. You can really really, really separate yourself from most of the population and even forget just like comparing yourself to other people. You can be the best or the better version of yourself in six months on trajectory to becoming the best version of yourself. And really that's the ultimate goal. So you, you need to start asking yourself basically, what things do I need to start doing? And then also guys, what things do you need to start avoiding? And this is a two-way two-way street and the, the beautiful thing about this is you need to take your time but I'm not gonna sugarcoat this I'm gonna play it just say it plain and simple there are certain things in life guys that you need to a hundred percent always be doing and certain things that you need to a hundred percent always not be doing and you need to figure out what that is specifically for yourself and uh, you know there's gonna be a lot of debate as to some of the things that I think are a hundred percent you should be consistent with versus avoid 100%. Um, but you really have to sit down and just be real, real with yourself and just, you know, just kind of say, is this something that I should be doing? And, you know, is it leading me to become the best version of myself and to live the life that I want? Or is it holding me back? And if you can't let go of that thing, then it's probably an addiction and it probably is something that you should try to live without. Now, you know, you don't need to work out every day, but you need to become somebody that's consistent. So you need to mostly work out, not all the time with weights, but you need to just be active. Now you can have rest days, so it's not something that you need to do every single day. You don't need to eat healthy every single day, but it's a good idea to eat healthy most of the time. 
you want to always be true to yourself and your internal standard because if you don't then you're going to have this weird internal conflict with who you're being versus who you want to be and who you, who you think yourself as and uh, you don't want to have that internal conflict guys you want to portray who you exactly are so who you are truthfully down to the core and who you want to be should be the person that you're being physically in real life you don't want to have two different versions and it takes time but this these are things that you want to work towards right any kind of cheap dopamine guys especially for men out there anything that's like x-rated you should a hundred percent of the time be avoiding it no exceptions now with that said you're not going to be 100% all the time, but you need to understand, guys, that with certain things in life, and again, so many different things that you can talk about with this, you need to work your way into it. So if you're somebody that's not used to doing something or used to, or is used to doing something that they shouldn't be doing, then you need to take your time to unfold that habit or to form the good new one. Now, with that said, with certain things, guys, you need to completely cut it out of your life. So if it's something that you need to completely cut out of your life, say like drugs, X-rated stuff, um, you know, even alcohol, guys, in my opinion, and, and some of these topics are obviously debatable, but sit there and truthfully ask yourself, is this something that I need? If it's not benefiting you in any way, then you should probably cut it out. But with that said, especially if you're addicted to it, it may take some time to decrease the frequency or how often you use it once you get to a certain point that you can go from doing this thing multiple times a day to doing it once a week once a month then you have to go all in you need to go all in guys and you need to 100 percent commit like i said you don't need to do this for every single thing like you can't work out every single day nor is it necessarily good to do that but you should build your relationships every day, not necessarily with the same person, but you need to have good social interaction. Yes, there are periods of time where you're going to be a little bit more isolated because you're working a little bit more, but in some shape or manner, you should be working on building your relationships and your networks within your life. Whether, you know, we're so blessed these days to have technology, we can just shoot a text to somebody. You should always be staying true to your moral integrity, to your internal standard of yourself. There's so many different things, guys, but eventually you need to get to the point where you're doing these things 100% of the time and avoiding certain things 100% of the time. There's no ifs, ands about it. You just need to get to that point. But just like I was saying before, just remember that it does take a long time before you get to this, but eventually you need to get to this. So it's up to you to one day just be sick and tired of being sick and tired and just finally take the plunge and just go all in. So it's not just enough just to start. You have to actually believe that you can become who you want to become and accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. And then also, guys, you need to believe in your system. So obviously, you need to create a system on how to get to your goals. But you need to truly believe that your system will work. And then you just need to kind of forget about it. Yes, you're going to be focused on it in the moment when you're doing it. But you need to forget about it and just put the work in. Guys, I'm so consistent with my workouts every single week and yes i'm focused when i'm working out but it's not even a thought in my head that i need to work out i just know i need to do it and guys the months and 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 years will pass and i will continue to work out and i'll continue to make progress and i look at myself in the mirror sometimes and i'm 100 percent natural i'm not huge but considering how many gains i've made throughout my life how much muscle gain i've made throughout my life and even being more consistent with my diet how lean i'm starting to look I'm really starting to look impressive and I'm really proud of what I've accomplished. And it's almost like, I can't believe that that's the man that I'm looking at in the mirror. Like I can't believe that that's me, but I'm not so focused on this end goal. I'm focused on the process and internally just knowing that the work needs to be get, the work needs to get done. So the work needs to get done under any circumstance. So you need to just forget about how you feel that day in that moment and just suck it up and just get the work done, guys. Because at the end, you're gonna look back. You're gonna look back in six months, in 12 months and be happy that you did the work. You're not gonna remember how you felt that day and what your excuses were. You're just gonna know if you have results because you put the work in or not. So it's really, it's easier said than done, obviously. And I have my tough days too. I'm not perfect guys, but this is the mentality that I have that I'm trying to work towards being consistent in the physical, matching this mentality 
with how I actually live. So just forget about it. Don't stress about it. Just internalize that the work needs to get done under any circumstance and just do the work. And you'll look back, guys, and you'll, you won't you will even believe like what you've accomplished. Um, so you got to set out the plan. You got to figure out what you want to do, what you want to avoid, and just go all in, just commit to it. And you'll surprise yourself with the results that you can achieve. So just my last kind of thoughts on this, guys, is that famous saying, you all know it, you've all heard it doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity so don't be insane try something different ponder what would work ponder what is better and then do it forget about it and just be consistent with it and watch the positive results flow if you want to change your life you should if you're not happy with where you're at that's okay but you should be working towards getting to where you want to be. You got to get from point A to point B. Try something new because what you've been doing so far has not been working and it will not work if you continue to do it. This is not to get mixed up with the idea of being consistent because when you do the right thing, you don't see the positive results right away, sometimes not even for weeks, months, or potentially years in terms of a grand scale, but you should see small victories in the course of months and years, of course, because then you got to ask yourself, am I approaching this the right way or, or am I doing something wrong? You should see small wins along the way to confirm that what you're doing is true, and then you'll see that grand big result that you're looking for because big results take time so don't confuse that that idea right but i'm talking about if you feel stuck and you feel like you need to get out of it then you need to learn you need to educate yourself you need to make yourself aware of what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing i gave you guys good examples focus on your diet focus on your relationships focus on focus on improving yourself and your personality and the way that you think focus on improving what you watch and what you think about and what you talk about um i talk. i mentioned sorry i mentioned i'm probably repeating this but just working out and eating healthy and um guys there, there's obviously so much more Work, working on a business if you want to work on a business whatever your goals are in life and who you want to be you need to focus on that you need to figure out what you want to focus on and what you want to avoid and just stick with it all right I hope this video helped you guys out. You're the one who is going to be responsible for changing your life. Nobody is coming to save you guys. Just remember that. Hope this helped you guys out. I'm going to sign out now, guys. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.